Hi, I'm Ned, and I make games. Today I want to introduce you to the world of grass rendering, a wonderful little rabbit hole I've fallen into. In this video, I'll show how to create simple grass out of a flat mesh, animate it with a wind effect, and place it in the world using a natural looking pattern. I created this project using Unity 2020.1.8 F1 and Universal Render Pipeline 8.2.0. First off, create a new project and set up the Universal Render Pipeline by downloading the package, creating a settings asset, and enabling it in your project settings. Then grab a grass texture of your choosing. I got this one from Unity's old standard assets package. You can download that from the asset store. Make sure alpha is transparency is checked in the importer settings. Now open your 3D modeling program and create a mesh for the grass. The simplest is two flat planes perpendicular to each other. Make sure the UVs are set so that V is zero at the bottom and one at the top. You can test this by creating a material using the URP simple lit shader. If everything shows up correctly, then it's time to create a new PBR shader graph. Name it grass. Click the gear on the master node and set the surface to transparent and the blend to alpha. You can also enable two-sided rendering here if your mesh needs that. Create a texture 2D property and a sample texture 2D node. Route everything together, making sure to set the color and alpha fields and save the asset. Back in Unity, change your material to use your new shader. If the grass looks the same as it did before, everything's working. Now let's add wind. First, I need a noise texture to create the wind effect. I'll read it as coordinates to nudge the grass mesh. Some simple cloud noise will do nicely. I made this one in GIMP with a solid noise renderer. Make sure whatever you use is tileable. For the shader, we'll need both the red and green channels, so set up noise in both. Back in Unity, make sure sRGB is unchecked for this texture. Reopen the grass graph. Sample the noise texture with a Sample Texture 2D LOD node. The UVs need to vary based on time, so create a Vector2 property to multiply with it. I also want to vary based on world position, so create a position node in world space. Disregard the Y or up coordinate by extracting the X and Z coordinates, then multiply that with another Vector2 property. Add the two offsets together and feed that into the UV field. Now, I should remap the texture values so that they range from negative 1 to 1. I also want control over the wind's strength, so create a vector 1 property and multiply that with the output of the remap node. If I fed this into the vertex position as it is, the entire grass mesh would wiggle, making it disconnect from the ground. To fix this, get the mesh's UVs, grab the V coordinate, and multiply that with the wind value. Since V is zero at the bottom of the mesh, it will not be affected by wind there. This wind value is only an offset, so I need to get the vertex's world space position and add to it. Since Y is up in unity, I want wind to blow in the X and Z coordinates. To do this, use a split and a vector three node. Then transform the sum to object space, connect to the master node, and save your shader. Play around with material properties until you're happy with it. So that's one aspect of this project, but we need to arrange the grass meshes in a visually appealing way. To do that, I'll create a C-sharp script called Grass Spawner. Create an empty game object and assign the script to it. We'll also need a prefab to copy, so drag the grass mesh object into the assets window to create a prefab from it. Now open up the Grass Spawner script. This problem is much more complicated than it seems at first glance, and involves quite a bit of math. I'll give you a very condensed version. Imagine a series of concentric circles centered on two points. Whenever two circles collide, plant a shrub. To disguise the pattern, every few rings, shrink the radius down a little bit. If you're curious about the math behind circle intersections or how this algorithm was dreamed up, there are some links in the video description which explain things more thoroughly. Okay, so let's implement the algorithm. First, create some instance variables to hold the grass prefab 
as well as the various algorithm settings. For simplicity, let's execute this in the start method. Create a list to hold the spawn points. Down here, do math to find one circle center, the difference and distance between the two circle centers, and the bounds to grow grass. Next, loop through each ring. The radius for each is determined by this function, which applies the offset every few rings. This function determines if the rings collide, and this one calculates the intersection point. If the intersection point is within the spawning bounds, add it to the spawn list. The second loop looks at each spawn point and instantiates a grass prefab on top of it. I also randomized the rotation here for some variety. Be sure to offset the position by the parent's position so every object is centered in the world. Back in Unity, set the grass prefab and all other settings. Press play to check it out and tune things until you're happy. Now that you have a lot of grass, don't forget to adjust the wind settings too. You'll want a gentle wave rippling through the field. And that's it, we've got some simple grass. There's more you can do to improve the look, such as setting the mesh normals to point up, create different mesh shapes, pick between multiple prefabs when spawning, have grass stick to terrain, and more. Even after I look at more advanced techniques, don't write this one off. It might be the best for your project. In the next video on grass rendering, I'll explore how to create procedural grass all in a shader. So please subscribe so you don't miss it. In the meantime, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment. I'd also really appreciate it if you could leave a like. It lets YouTube know to recommend this video to others, and it really helps my channel. How do you plan to implement grass in your project? Is there anything else you'd like to see a video about? Thanks so much for watching, and make games.